One of the most common hip flexor compensation patterns for SCA athletes is a manipulation of the spine and pelvis to bring the leg forward. So uh, usually it'll be sort of some sort of lumbar flexion uh, and then a rotation to pull the leg forward. L again, lumbar flexion and a little bit of rotation to pull the leg forward. And what this does is it passively tensions the tissues on the front of the hip so that through that stretch reflex, the leg comes forward. Training hip flexion in this way with that passive stretch reflex actively trains you to avoid using your hip flexor um, because you have this other strategy, so why would you actually use your hip flexor? Um, so instead, we want to isolate the hip flexor a little bit more, make you focus on that clean fold in the hip joint. And by doing that, we're going to stabilize the spine and the pelvis by holding yourself a little bit more in extension in the low back. And then when you take the step, there's a cleaner draw of the knee forward as you step through. This is going to actively train your hip flexor as opposed to kind of going on the detour uh, route of just passively tensioning the tissues and then bringing the leg forward.